Hey guys and welcome to Words SKL. So what if I told you that there was a tool that combined the features of New Writer and Low Fruits slash Keyword Chef? Wouldn't you be excited to test it? <laughs> Those were my thoughts exactly when one of our community members uh, led me in uh, to try Stroud.io, which is basically an SEO content optimization tool and keyword research tool. But not, not only, not just a keyword research tool, that reminiscent of Low Fruits or Keyword Chef. And if you follow my channel, you know that I reference Keyword Chef quite a lot, even though it does not have affiliate program. <laughs> So we can just uh, pick any of the reports that I've done over the years. So the way uh, Keyword Chef works is that you generate keywords from within Keyword Chef or you feed your own keywords to Keyword Chef. And then what Keyword Chef does is assigns different SERP scores. So green SERP scores mean that uh, there are a lot of quora slash reddit slash forum type of uh, sites ranking on the first page of Google. And you can just pick and choose your favorite keywords based on the opportunities. And this is invaluable because uh, keyword difficulty is uh, a pseudometric. It, it does show the backlinking profile, but it doesn't show the domain rating or the websites that are trying to fight for this keyword. So, and I'm telling you right now that Stroud.io has the same features. Okay, let's go to Stroud.io. Let's open the LCKR, which stands for low keywords, something, something. Uh, and the way it works, it works as a basic Google autocomplete. So if you were to type best home exercise for, and then with an asterisk, it will find you lots of keywords like so. And looks like uh, the two has found uh, almost 600 words. And what you can do right now is that you just choose Analyze All. And I'll show you how it looks like in a minute. And not only that, you can feed your own keywords, which is even more valuable. So you can go to Google, you can parse uh, people also as keywords and import them there. And this is what I did. These are the imported keywords. And uh, you have a lot of information. So basically you have your SERP score from lowest to highest. And the higher the SERP score, the better. You can see whenever you see this uh, Quora sign, you will know that Quora is ranked number three out of the top 10 results. And this one is ready. This one is a forum and this one is something, I have no idea what it is. Oh, this, this one is a low domain rating website. And uh, the beauty of this is that it has a pretty good filter sidebar. So if I were to leave only the medium, the keywords with medium SERP score, oh, I don't have any. <laughs> okay, what about the weak spots? So the weak spot is at least a uh, one weak quote unquote domain in the top 10. Okay, what about the top three? Okay, so quite a lot. Okay, at least one below DA. And this is like a lot to choose from. I wonder why it didn't give us the medium SERP score, even though... Oh, so yeah, so if we choose the high SERP score, we can see that this key keyword here is 5x5 five five better than 4x4. Four four. Is a pretty good keyword to rank for because Quora Reddit is number one, Quora is number two, and we have a lot of forms here. So let's just pick this keyword here. And let's go to the SEO writing, a monthly blog post, main keywords. And for those of you who don't know, uh, SEO writing has a, a unique discount that is only available to our community, nowhere else. And if you go to trickminot.ai, recommended tools and discounts, you get this SEO writing 30% off. So nobody else has it, has this. Okay, back to uh, one click blog post. So the title is, is 5x5 better than 4x4? Exploring, exploring the key differences. Article size, let's stick to medium. Tone of voice, uh, maybe uh, inspirational. No, let's, um, well, let's stick with friendly point of view. I like to choose I, me, my, mine. Target country, United States. Image generation in each section. Uh, images, high quality. 
image style, cinematic. And now I think this, it's time to use the content audit within the content editor, sorry, within the Strel. So it has both the audit and content editor. Audit is for the existing articles and content editor is whenever you are trying to write from scratch. So we will be including NLP keywords, yes. Okay, this is done. And there is a lot of information uh, to take in uh, and we are more interested. So if you go to brief, you can get a feel of uh, different headings. And for the keywords, and this is what we are interested in, let's just press export all. And we have a lot of information here. So we have the title tags. This, these are sample title tags, H1, H2, main content keywords. So we're interested in main content keywords and I like how it shows relevancy as well. Let's just copy them all. Let's go back to SEO writing. Let's paste this in. One from 50, so yeah. These are, oh, 50 keywords, I forget. Okay, and I've just realized that um, the tool is mistaken. The topic has got a lot of hair related keywords. Let's see if we can uh, somehow modify the query. So SEO writing got it right, uh, but Strel, so what about... Well, I don't want to spend any more time on this. Uh, let's choose best exercise for canoeing, because this one is another low competition keyword. Let's again export it all. Sorry about the confusion. H2 keywords, main constant keywords. Okay, and this is... This is uh, correct. So strength training, risk of injury, shoulder blades, blah, blah, blah. And we'll just pick the top 50 based on relevancy. But we'll have to redo the SEO writing. But this is extremely easy. we we'll just go like this. Generate title. Unlock performance with the best exercise for canoeing. Okay, so everything else uh, remains the same. But the keywords are going to be different. Okay, this sounds about right. As far as structure, we'll leave conclusion, tables, uh, lists, yes. Italics calls yes to everything. And while we wait, I want to fire up a neural writer with the same keyword. So new query, best exercise for canoeing. Oh, okay. And we, uh, we can see that uh, within the top results, uh, not a lot of uh, URLs or posts are optimized for these keywords. So those guys are not optimized. Even this one is about kayaking and not canoeing even though I'm pretty sure they are similar, but still lots of opportunities there. And our article is ready. So if we go to science and clues, it should be. So we're inside the work, WordPress. So the uh, keyword was best exercise for canoeing. And the beauty of SEO writer is that it's already optimized everything. So everything is in the green. The SEO title matches that of a keyword. It, it, it is in the meta description in the URL. It's in the beginning of the content and um, everything else is just perfect. What if we just copy everything like so and paste it back to content editor. So I'm here and I haven't done this before, so I have no idea what this is going to do. And so we need the title itself. So this is the title. And so let's get the meta description as well. And this is going to be it meta description. Okay. Oh. And like so. Okay, have I done everything correctly? So okay, our content score is 37. Uh, let's see, we uh, let's look at the title tag keywords. H1, good exercise, strength exercise, uh, H2 keywords, training program. So don't we have training program here, in here? Make sure curious to know, hang on. Let me just paste it into a new writer because I'm just confused with everything right now. And we'll just populate the meta like so. And now the constant score is 66. <laughs> so uh, 
new if you use the keywords from Strel itself and use SEO writing, uh, it gives you a uh, better score right of the gate. So it's better than the comp competition already. And uh, so everything is uh, working as expected. And just for a second, so let us admire the article from SEO writing. So key takeaways, importance of strength, training with canoeing, beautiful, beautiful image, training exercise to improve canoeing, Another image, and this is a tough, oh, this one is kind of weird, but I've seen weirder, weirder. this one is beautiful, so is this one, oh, silver, silver, silver surfer, <laughs> okay, yeah, and this is a very tough topic to have great pictures in, but I think SEO writing did a good job, so training exercise once again, descriptions, lower body, injury prevention, strength training. So everything is uh, pretty good. I would probably delete a couple of images here, but other than that, it's perfect. And it's well optimized as far as a newer writer, but <laughs> Strel itself, it's kind of uh, struggling and I, I'm trying to, to understand why. So it tells uh, us to um, include one of these in the uh, H1. So let's just test this. Uh, uncover the best exercise for canoeing. Uh, well, I, I'm just experimenting. I know this does make any sense, but I'm trying to understand the logic behind exercise behind this program. So now we have the good exercise, uh, strength, best. What if we do Best exercise for canoeing training exercises training exercises for rowers. Okay, this gives us 41. Okay, what about H2? So we don't have um, training program in H2, importance of strength training. Or well, just for the sake of the experiment, let's just see, add a bunch of keywords. Lex is extended, muscular endurance. Okay, this is it. And we can just go to, and we'll just say incorporate all of the below keywords in a area ref about strength training for canoeing let's go back let's substitute this okay 48 so it was 37 i think now let's just paste everything into neurowriter so the score before was 66 That's okay so it looks like the score remained Oh, wow. Hmm, interesting. So my thoughts right now are as, are as follows. You can definitely use the uh, keyword research components of Strel. Also, Strel seems to suggest relevant keywords, NLP keywords for optimization. Improving the score further does not translate to an improved score in NeuroWriter, but again, the article we got by default with the help of SEO writing was already better than the competition. So I'm thinking give Strel a go. Uh, unfortunately, they used to have an LTD that uh, is no longer available, but it's a pretty good program and I'm actually, I'm gonna keep it just for the low uh, competition keywords component and maybe for the NLP keywords also because if I know for a fact that by using these NLP keywords together with the low competition keywords here I'm getting a pretty good SEO score then I'm happy I don't need to recheck it with new writer and I don't need it to bump it up to the green zone in here so yeah a very very interesting program go check it out I think it has a free trial let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.